Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne at Stone Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. And we've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you. So let's get started. Pumpkins galore and decor. Oh, whoever Woo-hoo! caught that up, I, I love it. <laughs> I know. Very clever. Pumpkins. It's not quite pumpkin time, but boy, it sure is getting close, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Can't wait. And, and when we're talking about pumpkins today, we're using, talking about using them in your fall decor. Mm-hmm. But I want to clarify before we get started that we're not just talking about real pumpkins. We're talking about the fake pumpkins that you can buy. We're talking about real ones. We're talking orange, white, all varieties, all shapes, and the real and the fake ones. So, you know, there's so many ways that you can use pumpkins in your decor. And I'm going to start with the pumpkin queen. Well, I don't know. I'm thinking it's Yvonne. I don't know. Kelly, are you a big pumpkin user? I love pumpkins. Has anyone seen my pumpkin Pinterest board? It's absolutely scrumptious. I have to say. You have a separate board for pumpkins? I do. Oh, oh. then we're going to let you go first. Okay, well, you I'm go just, first. I'm just saying, I mean, I don't want to declare myself yeah, pumpkin royalty, ahead. but... <laughs> I'd rather go, be girl. the pumpkin princess. That sort of rolls off. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. do it. Well, I, I see... I see pumpkins in a lot of things that you might not see pumpkins in. So I'm going to start off with one of my favorite pumpkin, my favorite repurposes into a pumpkin, um, which is a little sort of, uh, you know, an off the grid thing, you know? So I'm in the hardware store. She's off-roading already. I'm off-roading a little bit. So let let me just start with like sort of something that's going to maybe catch some people's attention. Some people might be like, that's kooky. I Just want a real get pumpkin. to it. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So I'm in the hardware store, like I am a lot, and I <laughs> and I'm in the sort of the cleaning aisle, and I see those little copper scrubber brushes, yeah, scrubber mm-hmm. pads. Uh, I've seen your I've seen your post on this. Okay, they're super cute. But they're pots they? oh. or they're scrubbers. There's- they're the little scrubbers, the little round things, and so I'm looking at them. They come in a package of three, and I'm like. <gasps> I see a pumpkin in there. And so I bought, I <laughs> guess, you know, one of those days I was like, oh, I need to have these. So I bought, I don't know, like mm-hmm. probably 10 packages. What color are they? They're copper. Oh, oh. So they're orange, but they're, oh. you know, they're metal. Um, and are is, they in know, the shape of a pumpkin? They're yes, Anita Jean. This I is haven't those seen little, these things. Well, they're the little scrubber pads that you, people would use to scrub pots with. But they're not flat like a pad. No, they're, they're round. round. No, they're puffy okay. and round, and you can puff them up even a little bit more. All right, I metal. don't get out much. I thought I'd already <laughs> said that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I grabbed about ten packages. So now I have like thirty of these little things, and I thought, okay, I I got to make pumpkins out of these. So then I took a walk in my neighborhood, and I found little, a little perfect little sticks. <laughs> and so I glued the little. You can sort of stuff a little stick in in the middle, mm-hmm. and I put a little glue in there, mm-hmm. and then I made little felt leaves, mm-hmm. and I glued them on, and they are so darn cute. So I Such made a the bunch of them. Crafty one. I'm I so was yes. really, I was really in a crafty moment. And so, and I gave some away in my blog and people love them. And then mm-hmm. I actually got a few emails with photos of people who had made them at home. Oh, how super fun. easy Don't to make. Don't you love that? I, I love, love that. I love when I get those. And well, you now, can also are you use link them. to these? Because I've got to see these. I link, yeah, of course I'll link to these. They're very okay, popular awesome. on Pinterest. But okay. I will um, also suggest that you could use them as place cards because they're super cute. How you tie cute is that? A little tag And then you can use them the later stick. to scrub your pots with, right? And then, well, yeah, everybody <laughs> can help you in the kitchen after dinner. And, oh, I see now. Mm-hmm. I see how That's this is going down. That's a big a dinner party. Yeah. <laughs> use your pumpkin. Here's your, <laughs> here's your sponge and washcloth. And yeah. use the cleaner. <laughs> exactly. I'll give you a little Windex. Too. And Ke- uh, Kelly, here's my visions of you. You talk about so much about walking your neighborhood, gathering branches and sticks <laughs> and things. And I could just see you. They're going, there's that crazy lady again, exactly. carrying those dead branches. I know, <laughs> right? And then when I'm looking for acorns and little sticks, I'm just like looking down at the cement. Like what is like, like there's some you know secret message written there. What is this woman is nuts? Is, is Emmett mm-hmm. embarrassed to walk with you? No, he loves it because he likes to stop a lot too. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha. 
Gotcha. So anyway, that's my little off-grid pumpkin craft that I'm, I wanted to kick off with. Well, I'm going to start oh. with... So um, it doesn't even have to be a a pumpkin pumpkin. You can kind of no, make up your you can own make pumpkins. your own. But I'm going to talk about real pumpkins for a minute yeah. and tell you there's a way that you can clean them um, when you bring them in. And it, they will last a lot longer. Ooh, and I, yeah, ooh. I have a post and I'll put that I'm leaning in the show notes. Me too. Real easy. And they last significantly longer if you do this. Well, do tell. What do you well, do? Well, you use a drop of, um, uh, of like dish detergent and a little bit of cl- Clorox. And I won't go into the rest, but you She's wash She's making us them. go over to her blog. You need to go to my <laughs> blog to see. So you need to wash your pumpkins. Oh, I always wash my pumpkins, Good but I didn't you. know there's a secret thing to wash mm-hmm. them with. Okay. And this is another, t- we'll just keep the pumpkins wet. Yeah. Uh, if you have an outside bird bath, yeah, scrub it all out, fill it with water, float pumpkins in them. It is so cute. Oh. And that like those little mini ones, those baby boos and the little yeah. orange uh-huh. ones. Like bobbing and, for pumpkins? Yeah, <laughs> yes. And then I have these, they're round balls that light up at night and they float. And it's they look so pretty in there with the pumpkins. Like these so this is just a clean them. They're maybe the size of a golf ball. Whoa. Mm. And they Ooh. look so pretty. So I have mine out. I had mine out in the back porch where my bird bath was, but I moved my bird bath. So I'm thinking about bringing it around front just for the season. Oh, I think you should. I want that. Yeah. Mm. I, you know Good what? Idea. You're both tied for tip of the day, but it's too early. I, I can't call it yet. It's okay. way too it's early. Way too early. Yeah, way I too didn't early. expect it. But to we get can, it right we away. can call it retroactively. So oh, we've never like done that. It's usually end. in the moment. No. Usually, okay. Well, if it's at the end, we haven't heard something as good. We can always call it. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. So here's right. mine. Here's my, mm-hmm. here's my thing. Now I got the whole idea of putting the moss balls on top of the candlesticks from Yvonne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I am totally in love with that idea. So I'm now I'm really into the putting the things on top of these tall candlesticks. Mm-hmm. So how about putting not the huge yes. ones, but some of the smaller pumpkins on there? I do I that it. all the time. She it's does so, it already. So of pretty. course she does. Right. No, no. There. Well, you know what I saw there, on your did. post on, in your your post, I think it was last couple of days, I saw you had a bird's nest. Oh, yes. I do that too. In your mm-hmm. in your um on one of your posts. But mm-hmm. also think about this. You know, you can get those little velvet pumpkins. Yeah. Oh. And I yes. have a couple posts about those that are so gorgeous. Now, do you make them a- or buy them? I've made them and let me tell you what, it's worth every penny to buy them because oh. they're just they're not hard to make, but they're very work intensive and you just have to have a lot of moving parts. And as anyway, you said, cutting velvet is very messy. Oh, it's horrible. I now know that. By the but way. anyway, yeah, from your from your um beautiful um mm-hmm. from the throw. pillows, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Throw. Well, I have a little nest and I have this little tiny fuchsia pumpkin it's maybe this maybe it is about the size of a golf ball with this it has a real stem on it and um i put it inside this little nest and i put dried hydrangeas like here and oh, there around the wow. bottom oh so cute okay and now then dried, I just you dry your own ledge. hydrangeas or do you buy i do i do oh wow and I, I'll just put, I'll put that in the show notes too. I actually mm-hmm. have a a post about how to do that. It's a little so off topic. Where but... do you get your velvet pumpkins? Well, I get them from Love Feast Shop. Okay, yeah, and she I, has and beautiful I'll, ones. Oh, they're gorgeous! And I say it again. I just Love, Love Feast. Feast Shop. Love Feast. Feast. Okay, V A S T. Okay, and it's Chris Ann who has this, and I had I just got I've just ordered and can't wait to get some big pumpkins that are velvet with these big beautiful um, real stems, and then they have feathers around like a feather collar around the top oh. that drape over where the stem comes out. I mean well, they are I just love they the idea. stop you in your tracks. I love the idea of the velvet pumpkins because they just oh they just sound so gorgeous. I mean I've they're, seen them. They're beautiful. They're decadent. I've, I've, I've they're not decadent. had any but I'm gonna go get some because there's something Ugh. that you can put away and pull out and Chris yes. 
friend. Yes. We, <laughs> I'm going we're coming. To, yes. yes. <laughs> we want to talk to you about sponsoring Crochet. <laughs> she has a, a real, uh, she has a brick and mortar shop now too, I believe. That she I didn't that know that. Ago. Yeah. Okay. 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 So now I love, I do love those velvet pumpkins and they are mm-hmm. something fabulous, but I've done it. I've seen others do it. I've actually seen some people do it with drop cloths, which is fun because you can make a white. You need pumpkin. to make them. Oh, yeah, that's just, a crossover with our not, previous episode. Right. But you're mm-hmm. not going for that really high end, you know, velvet pumpkin. Look. Right. Like make it, you know, you don't want it to look like, you know, your grandma's craft fair, look. but right. you know, like a notch above somewhere in between. Mm-hmm. I made a, set, a little trio again with using the real sticks that you just find around mm-hmm. and just some scraps of fabric. And my Girl Scout troop made them too one year because it was really a no so situation. If I came with three squares of fabric in different sizes so they could make a little trio. And you did the oh, idea is so just, cute. yeah, just make, cut yes. the square big enough. So then when mm. you, you know, kind of you cinch it up around the stick and you could do it with some twine and then some glue to hold it. And then you just cut off the edges, you know, so it does look um, crafted, but it doesn't look like, mm-hmm. you know, hokey. They're mm-hmm. really cute. Yeah. So uh, those are easy to make. And, they, and you, know, you can just go into your, if you have a scrap bin of fabrics, you can go in there and I added some custom jewelry beads and some little oh. bit of bling on the top of some of the, st- the sticky stems. Super cute. I so, bet you that was beautiful. Yeah, I have a couple of posts on them. Mm-hmm. I actually gave a few sets away too because I made some in colors that I knew I wouldn't use just because mm-hmm. that's what I had in my fabric. Right? So I'll attach the, those Bling to the up. show notes as well. Mm. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quince. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pant at forty nine ninety. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365 day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365 day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. Greenchef.com slash 60DTT. And use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. I do have another thing. Um, I have a, I had uh, collected a lot of orange pumpkins and I paint them. I use chalk paint and paint them. Now, are and, you talking about the faux ones or do you paint uh, the real faux, ones? The faux, they're faux. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're fake pumpkins. Those, like those 
bright orange ones that look right. so mm-hmm. fake. Right. And I eat, I painted them white and I've also painted them. They're supposed, they're called blue pumpkins, but they're really more of a green. Uh-huh. But here's what makes them look real. And I have a post about this I'll stick in. You pop off the fake um, stems. Yes. And you yes. hot glue yes. real stems. Yes. Oh, great. And, and how do you get do, the real stem? Well, I tell you, I go to all the You places. go to the store and you pull them off? No, no. I go to all my little, like- like my, my little places around here that sell pumpkins, and there's mm-hmm. tons. And you of snap them. them off and stick no, them. I was going to say, you snap them, them off. Or <laughs> no, but do you ask the them? Season, do you just grab I ask them? them. Oh, okay. I say at the end of the season, if you have any left over, because they dispose of them. Mm-hmm. I ask them, do you mind if I come, or would you pop off the stems for me, and I'll pick them up. I and- love you, Eva. I love you. I love that you do that. What mm-hmm. I do is when I have to say goodbye to my pumpkins, which is really hard for me when you have to put mm-hmm. Christmas out and you know we don't want to do what? Have pumpkins and Christmas. What is yes. that called? Cross holidation. It's cross a no no. Mm-hmm. So when cross holidation is is looming and mm-hmm. you need to say goodbye to your pumpkins, mm-hmm. take your off. stems off. Put them in oh. a place where they can dry completely, then put them Good. in a Ziploc and save them for next year's uh, crafty ding, ding, pumpkins. ding, 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 ding. I'm calling it tip of the day. <gasps> oh, that's pretty good. Oh, I didn't wow. even think about that. Wow. Yes. And, <laughs> and if you buy as many as I do, you have like a hundred a year. Yes. <laughs> and then make sure you make yourself a little note so you know where you put them. <laughs> That's yeah. tip of the day. <laughs> and then tell someone where you put them because you might not find your note. <laughs> one, one year, I found the baggie of them in the back of my sock drawer. Now, <laughs> no, seriously, I don't know what I was thinking. It was a fugue moment, I think. You were sucking them oh, away. Yeah, I, well, I have sucking them have, away. I think I can top that. I found the old pumpkin in my garage <laughs> because it smelled. Oh, oh. my word. Yeah. Yes. Well, oh, I hope you were able to salvage the stem. <laughs> well, I didn't oh, even think about my. it. I mean, I need this podcast. <laughs> let me yeah, try, let me tell you something else you can do with a pumpkin, and it's very useful. You can use it as a baker. Like you literally can take t- lop the top off, seed it out, but don't take the flesh. Uh-huh. And I have the recipe for the most delicious filling. Ooh. It has stuffing and sausage and bits of pumpkin. And you bake it in the pumpkin? And you bake it in the shell. First of all, the presentation is out of this world. Wow. Oh, do you goodness. keep the lid and, and then you go voila yes, and you take ke- it off? You put the lid, ne- you put it on a sheet pan and put the lid next to it. Do you cook the lid and also? You uh, yes. And then you okay. plop it on and it stays really warm and it is scrumptious. Oh, oh, oh scrumptious wow. it is. It's scrumptious. Yes. 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 And then after they eat it, you make sure that you get that lid and you take the stem off and you put it in your sock drawer. <laughs> and it's a little darker than the rest, but that's okay. That's okay. Is that's there something special? That's what right. else is in this sock drawer? That's, that's what I okay, want Okay, wait. Know. Now we're talking about eating and I'm <laughs> starving. Yummy. Don't you just love a great recommendation from a friend? Well, we're delighted to be recommending these companies and their wonderful products to you today. And let them know your friends at DTT sent you. So Yvonne was giving us this fabulous recipe, which is what, you know, oh. you give Kelly a recipe and she thinks about eating it. And then she thinks about, you know, blah, blah, blah. Oh, it's blah. so easy. That's it's how so we so got easy. to kind Do you bars. have pictures mm-hmm. of this amazing dish? Yes, I do. I have a post on it. Okay. I can't wait to and see it. And it's done pretty well on Pinterest. Mm. This is going to be um, a crazy amount of show notes. So everybody mm-hmm. should pop over for this particular mm. episode. I mean, you, mm-hmm. the show notes are great for the for all the episodes, we really try to include everything we say we're going to and mm-hmm. even more. Uh, but this one, my goodness, everything. Oh, but we I all know. love like, pumpkins and we all do pumpkin, do pumpkin things. So when, let me talk, you talked about uh, hollowing this this particular pumpkin out for mm-hmm. this wonderful um, stuffing that you had. So there's oh, so another thing you can do about hollowing out a pumpkin. So I did this last year for a, um, it was a, party at a cooking school. And so I was asked to do the florals. And Hello, a party at the cooking school. Yeah, there was a party at a local cooking oh. school. And um, uh, yeah, I and would so they, love to have been invited to that I know. Party. Really? Really? Oh right. my goodness. That sounds like our cup of tea. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, um, but I was doing the floral arrangements for it. So I wanted to do something a little bit different in something on season and something that kind of had a little something to do with food anyway. So I hollowed out uh, one very large 
orange pumpkin. And I love the white pumpkins because sometimes in my neck of the woods, because I don't live where Yvonne is in pumpkin land, I can, the, the white ones are maybe a little misshapen or they're on the smaller side. So I went with an orange, beautiful orange orb. You know, it took me so long mm-hmm. to pick it out. And then two smaller ones that were about the same size, you know, each. So mm-hmm. they, so it would be a little mm-hmm. trio. Mm-hmm. And I hollowed them out and I chalk painted them, spray painted them with that white matte Krylon chalk mm-hmm. paint oh, that we love. Yes, uh-huh. yes, yes. Right. Mm-hmm. And then I put um, glass containers, like two little mason jars and then a bigger one. And I did my floral arrangements, but I did them all in sort of that early fall palette that we were talking about, sort of oh, the, the beiges yes. and the browns mm-hmm. and the, mm-hmm. and I did white hydrangeas and oh, some cattails and they, they really turned out so beautifully. Mm. And let me tell you, those hollowed out pumpkins lasted a long time wow. because I know the lady you know, yes, who owned yes. the place took them home with her and she said she had them for like, you know, uh, uh, two weeks. No problem. Oh, it is uh, amazing how long they last. Mm-hmm. The pumpkins real pumpkins do last a long mm-hmm. time. Mm-hmm. Now, did you get invited to the dinner, Kelly? No, you know, I didn't get to go to the party. Oh, that was kind of wow. sad. I just dropped them sad. off. Sad. I know. <laughs> Next year, if I get, I'm going to say, I'll make the arrangements. Yeah, be my, a little more bold. I'm coming too. I'm coming to the party. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, yeah, make so that, that part of the agreement. Yeah, but you could do that <laughs> with, uh, you know, little medium to small size mm-hmm. pumpkins and like go, go down a table and it's could be, and oh, then so here's the other thing, you taking out the seeds. And so make that my pumpkin seed recipe, which my daughter's friends, uh, absolutely love when I send her to school with it. And actually one of the girls, cause I said I ran out of pumpkins cause I was not going to take my pumpkins from my decor to make more <laughs> pumpkin yes. seeds for these girls at high school. So she brought one of her pumpkins to my house and, to make them. <laughs> and oh, dropped it off. I'll, and I'll like, definitely have to get that order recipe. For seeds. <laughs> well, that's so cute. Hey, you should tell her, bring me the seeds. Yeah. And just bring it. me the seeds and mm-hmm. maybe the stem. There you go. There you go. (laughs) Hey, and I've got another one where you take the stem off the pumpkin before you use it. And there is a method to sort of taking the pumpkin off. You've got to like click, you have to almost like flick it with your thumb way down at the base and put Uh a lot of pressure on it, or you'll break it more at the top. But if you get, I I got one of those beautiful Hubbards, like a green Hubbard, blue Hubbard, but they're really green Mm -hmm. Hubbard pumpkins. Um, And I took the, a pretty big one and I put, took the stem off the top. And in that divot, I put a little bit of, of, uh, soil and I planted real life succulents. Oh, oh, I saw that. It was beautiful. At, oh. Well, and some of the little succulents have the little, uh, what are they called? Teardrops. Yeah. Where they, they are on like a little vine. They go all the way. They go down this oh. big, like this viney stem. And that coloration and, is so beautiful with the succulents mm-hmm. and the color pumpkin you chose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And it lasted, oh, f- like two months. A good wow. Two months. Yes. Yes. Well, now, what did I you do about watering that? Did first. you sort of just like mist it or what well, did you do? You know, I didn't really water it much, but I watered it a little bit, you know, just every, like maybe once every three weeks, it just didn't need, seem to need a lot. No, I wetted the soil. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I didn't wet the leaves. I wet the soil and it lasted and really, I could have taken the succulents out and replanted them, but, but you know, Christmas is then upon you. So I didn't want to take the time. No, and you don't want to risk, you know, getting a ticket for cross holidays. Really? (laughs) (laughs) And now I really want to spread that word. It's a word I made up and I want it to end up in the dictionary. It's in my dictionary. All right. So we have to add it to the urban dictionary. Hmm. Can you do that yourself? Well, I don't know. I, I have a, f- you might be able to. Well, I don't want anybody to steal my word because I know I've ma- you know, I'm the one that, that made that word up. So mm-hmm. yeah, you don't want to get we'll back for you cross holidation. Thank you. <laughs> and, and I, for years I've had that, you know, we'd be driving around and my little niece would go, now she's grown up <gasps> cross holidation. <Auntie> <laughs> <and, you know? laughs> but anyway, so I didn't, and what do you do with succulents when you're trying to decorate for Christmas and you've got to take so many pictures. So I ended up throwing it all away, but you could, could replant you threw out away your succulents? I did. I hate to say that. Oh I my know. goodness! I didn't hear I'm that. Just, I didn't hear mm, it. I didn't that know. was painful to hear. <laughs> hey, you just killed an ivy. You're a good well, one. Well, it was to an accident. It was. It was. <laughs> it, what is that? It. It's. It wasn't. 
it wasn't premeditated. It wasn't intentional. Right, it wasn't. Right, it's more right. like manslaughter. Uh-oh. But yours and was like. And didn't I call you a plant murderer? Yeah. I think you okay. did. <laughs> I, yeah. And I think, who's the finger pointing Right back at now? you, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pesto pork chops over Parmesan polenta. Not that easy to say, but oh, so easy to make with Green Chef. Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well. And we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And the deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. Inevitably, with the new year, come wellness goals. One very effective and easy-to-reach goal is to add DOSE to your wellness regime. DOSE is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt okay all right i have another little off the wall pumpkin okay Mm -hmm. okay i don't know why i guess because i just can't get enough of pumpkins that at a certain time of the year and it'll probably be like immediately after we stop talking today, everything will start looking like pumpkins. Like, do you ever see those cartoons and like, you know, like Bugs Bunny is hungry or something and everything looks like a hamburger. Yes, or everything yes. like so, <laughs> it's a certain time of year and everything like my kids start to look like pumpkins. I'm like, what is it? You know, what is it? Oh, they're so, little round pumpkin faces. Yeah, little pumpkins. Um, so I, this time I was in the grocery store aisle and like, you know, getting shampoo and whatever. And then they have that kind of like, Usually in my grocery store, it's kind of like, it's definitely not a destination for, uh, you know, spa products, but they'll have like a little display of like hair ties and brushes or whatever. And there were all these beige um, mesh scrubbers, you know, those things. Like they oh, come like and they the, have this the string on them mm-hmm. and it's that like you, a little the, mesh ball. Yeah, like the little loofah balls for your tub. Right. So, but yeah. it's not even, I, like, I don't even know what mesh. material that is. It's like, it, that is plastic d- mesh. absolutely no yeah. natural material in that. And, and I don't know if people actually use those to scrub themselves, whether it's like a decorative thing. I don't know. But anyway, they were all like 75% off and they were all in this kind of sad ish <laughs> beige color. Um, and so I thought, I'm going to buy these and I'm going to make them into pumpkins. And sure enough, I did. <laughs> I did. All of all the pot, pot scrubbers. I did. I love the pot scrubbers. I was like, these are bigger and they're white. These are white pumpkins. So I got my little stick, a little oh, bag of sticks mercy. out and I glued them in. And I happen to have found now, most likely you people that are listening won't have this somewhere in their stash, but you might have something like that. I had stumbled upon these metal leaves that I thought, 
at some yard sale. Like, what am I going to do with these? But I had a bag of these metal leaves. <laughs> and they it's look a good thing you have a barn. I know. No I kidding. And so <laughs> I glued them on. But you could do felt. Totally could do felt. Or you could even like do like some sort of like, you know, faux leaf that looked pretty good. Okay. So then I put them in a bowl and they looked really cute. And they kind of, you know, they don't really stand up so well. But then I thought I'm going to make a wreath out of these and stick them on a wreath. And let me tell you. <sighs> Do you they, have a post about this? I do. I, I and, totally oh missed goodness. that one. And they look really good. So I did have one of the, I did a wreath with that uh, black and, you know, burlap sort of welting that we like and looped mm-hmm. it all around. And then I stuck the, the two or three of these pumpkins on there. I think you guys are you gonna go, like it, girl. Wow. Yeah, it's a little I crazy. Can't wait to see well, it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll, if you want to do something it. super duper easy, then. Just buy the pumpkins and you can put them in <laughs> and don't take anything. <laughs> and put it by your door. <laughs> Done. Wait, yeah, stack them by Check. your door. Put them in a dough bowl. I was just going to say that. Put them I in a love basket. to do that. Mm-hmm. Put them in your vignette. Put them mm-hmm. in a, on a tray with other beautiful things. And hey, cloche woman. Oh. Yes. Yeah. Oh, well, I didn't get to that. Cloche. No, okay. Put them in a cloche. Mm-hmm. Nice. Put Absolutely. them on your mantle. You can just stand them up like little soldiers on the mantle. I think that's Oh, charming. I love that look, actually. So you cute. Can, so and so put, them, put them in a wood crate mm-hmm. oh, yeah. or in an iron basket. Mm-hmm. And yeah. Um, yeah, so that's my And I my... found little baby boo pumpkins fit mm-hmm. perfectly in a white iron stone cup. Oh, so great cute. idea. And party favors. Hello. Yeah. Oh, and they would probably yes. sit nicely in little teacups too. If you have a little mm-hmm. decorative teacups, you don't know yes. what to do. And I, I put them, I put orange ones in blue and because I love orange, blue, and white together. Oh, yeah. They're complimentary okay. colors. They go in a little, a little blue and white um, mm. fluted and stem stemmed a sherbet bowl. Oh, uh, okay. And I have the I'm, orange pumpkin. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to get and the baby And then booze. if you want to get really spiffy, you know, have you ever been to a store that have all these like candle rings that have all the little beads and fluff and, mm-hmm. you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, who use, I mean, I'm sure there are people that use them, but if you put that in the bottom of your like little bowl and you put your, and you put your little pumpkin on top of it and fluff it all, all those little, those little um, beads and wires and things going out. Oh, it looks so pretty. So when you get the baby booze, are they real or do you do fake? Oh, no. I mean, I get them all. Well, when I'm posting early, I have a big stash of f- fake ones, but mm-hmm. I get real ones. They they sell like three for a dollar around here. Oh, okay. I have to tell idea. you a really, fu- I have to tell you a funny story. Okay. And I, di- I didn't remember this last year. It was, it was a funny story that I told several times. Um, and I forgot about it until you just said baby booze. So I'm at my local grocery store, like your regular grocery store. And you know, when you go into the grocery store, oftentimes they have those um, doors that just slide open. And mm-hmm. when they do, there's kind of like a gust of wind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it's, I've been now on the prowl for baby booze. And it's, I'm sweating it out because they're showing up like on Yvonne's blog because she's in Lancaster <laughs> County and it's like 99 degrees here and I cannot find these little white pumpkins. So I, I'm, it's, it's a hot summer day I, uh, in September, I guess it was. I go through these doors, you get the gust of wind and what do I see in front of me is this bushel of the little white pumpkins. Oh my gosh, my Did heart. Did you get weak in the knees? I got weak in the knees. Yeah. I, I went over. So it's like I, a fog clear. Oh and then yeah. There they I, I was like, oh my gosh. And so, and now of course you can't just pick the ones on the top. You know, you have to go through Rifle and find the best it. ones mm-hmm. and yeah. ones without any best bruises stems. and the just the perfect little twist to the, mm-hmm. the stem. Mm-hmm. And I have a skirt on. It's a long <laughs> flowy skirt. And I am bent over this bushel of baby booze and the next person comes into the grocery <laughs> store and there is a gust of wind <laughs> and my skirt goes up <laughs> over my back. <laughs> so he saw your baby booze. <laughs> Like, oh, it's certainly feeling breezy in certain places. I didn't feel breeze before. I just could I didn't turn around because I don't even know if it was a man or a lady. I just like 
I grabbed the back of my skirt. I was trying to hold it down. And of course, I have like four pumpkins in my hand. And, I'm, and you weren't going to let those and go. And I was not going to let them yeah. go because I had already selected those. Yeah. Oh, oh, my gosh, you guys. What I do to find a good pumpkin. <laughs> well, we do. <laughs> well, on that happy note. <laughs> <laughs> ding, ding, ding. We can't top that. <laughs> no, that's true. I think yeah. that's the best one. We bottom right down. Yes. yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, remember, we are here to inspire you to create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us.